Hi everyone, my name is Jessica and I'm a reseller and photographer. Today I'm going to be doing a what sold video for the month of October. Um, today is November 5th and it's a couple days after the general election and so I'm just trying to keep my mind off of everything. Hopefully after we learn the results we can resume back to a normal, as normal as we can. <clears throat> okay, so I have some notes down here. I have uh, numbers from eBay. I have numbers from Etsy, Mercari, Tradesy, and Poshmark. <clears throat> Can't breathe. I don't know why my vo my voice sounds like I've been smoking, chain smoking, and I haven't. The app that I use to calculate my numbers every day is called Retail Fit Solutions. You can find it at fitretailsolutions.com, and it's inventory management for resellers. <clears throat> so my numbers. They might not all be, you know, exact, but the net profit that I came up with from the report from the app, that my net sales are $1,697. So a little bit of a backstory about me. I haven't really shared a lot yet, um, but I've been a reseller for seven years. Seven, no, it's almost probably nine by now. I can't even remember. Um, I started just in college to make extra money and it was fun. So I just did it without really, you know, caring about what money came in. Um, but it it's exciting as we all know. So I've been doing that for about nine years. I just saw the FedEx truck go by. I wonder if I can track them down and give them. No, I'm not even wearing pants. Um, I have shorts on. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> so I've been doing reselling for about nine years. I know the exact date because it was, it started around the, su the time my godson was born. And he's going to be nine in February. So I did that for fun. And then I realized that I could pay my rent. And I just got addicted, I guess. So I've been doing it ever since. But not really. I never really had a goal for my profit. So like a lot of people during coronavirus, I lost my job in in March. I had already planned on going full-time with being self-employed with my photography and reselling as it was so I was already kind of preparing for that and then coronavirus hit and then it was kind of like sink or swim kind of situation. So the goal that I have to replace my income would be about 2000 a month at least at minimum. I feel like that's my beginning starting point up for this new hobby turned career. So let's get into it. I'm gonna share a screenshot of the items. This is my first what sold video, so please bear with me if everything's a little off. Okay, the first item is a vintage stained glass lampshade. I think I picked this up because it matched my mom's lamp and it was like a mini lampshade but i don't think she wanted it because it was still at the office when <laughs> for a while so i just took it back and listed it i don't know why i'm so fidgety uh, i'm fidgeting but sold for 38.46 shipped and the net profit on that is 1962. Then I 
sold a J. Crew cashmere sweater. It's a scoop neck long sleeve, kind of like neon pink. And that sold for $34.75 shipped. And the net profit was $26.39. Next, I have a, it's hard to explain what kind of bag it is. It's like made out of recycled material and it's kind of like a messenger bag. It reminded me of something that you would wear to like go to the farmer's market, um, but it wasn't very big, so I didn't keep it for myself. Um, but I found it at the bins with Hope and that sold for $22.85 shipped and I paid a dollar for it so I think I accidentally deleted that out of my app so I don't know what I profited but I profited about I'd say $14 and something else I'd like to mention is I am a long tail seller so I don't mind if I sit on stuff for a year or whatever um, I do get sick of items but they usually move. I've never really had an item that didn't move. Um, <clears throat> if something's not moving for a long time, eBay will notify you at about 16 months, I think, and then I will put it on auction for 99 cents. And a lot of times I'll get what I wanted for the item, or I'll at least get my cost of goods back. Um, but I, I will sell anything if I can make $10, I'll sell it. But obviously now, since I have a financial goal in mind, um, I'm trying to get my net profits up. Um, I just watched a YouTube video by Mogi Beth where she goes over the different business models of resellers. It's, it was a great video. And it kind of inspired me to hit the bins a little bit more. I normally just go to the regular Goodwill, but there is kind of like a, a lot of mall brands where we live and some designer, but if I can lower my cost of goods, then my profits will go up and I'd like to try getting into some retail arbitrage, but obviously that's a little bit more high risk and I don't really know what I'm doing. So we'll see. Anyway. Okay, so I had a sweater that I had forever, and it was Joie. Uh, it was a leopard print sweatshirt, and it had a hole in the front. So I just listed it for like $8, and it wasn't moving. So <laughs> I cropped it myself. So I listed it as Joie Leopard Print Raw Hem Cropped Sweatshirt and it sold for $25.45 shipped. So I profited $17.69. So I was <laughs> kind of proud of myself because I cheated the system. <laughs> I fixed my boo-boo. I need all the caffeine. I was up like checking the election stuff. My cat was crawling all over me. I just, I don't know what his deal is. You would think it would be a beer, but it's Aldi Red Bull. Okay. All right, these next items are freaking hilarious. So I took a chance on this because it was only 60 cents to buy it. I bought a vintage 1988 Miami Vice Don Johnson calendar. <laughs> Sitting there with a the camera, deep in thought. <laughs> so I thought it was funny. But I bought three of them. Each one was about 60 cents. 
This one sold for $45.85 and I profited $38.15 <laughs> and I have three. So another one sold, I just sent it out. It's actually on my porch right now. And those were both Don Johnson ones. The other one's a Miami Vice calendar. And I was wondering if they went back to this, if they went to the same state. They both went to New Jersey. So what is up with Miami Vice Don Johnson with New Jersey people? <laughs> That's so weird. So Bolo vintage calendars with funny stuff on it. Okay. <clears throat> I had a bad habit of picking stuff up just because it was new as tags back in the day and I don't know how long I've had this. It's been literally years. I bought a like it's a women's like hunting shirt by a real tree girl. It's a camo long sleeve top. What does it even say on the front? It says she who is brave is free on the front. So I just thought it was a cool design and it was new. So I picked it up and I sent out a pretty aggressive offer so I could get rid of it. Um, and it sold for $16.33. I profited six sixty-five, so I made back my buy-in price and made a few bucks. Next is a Cabby Red Naughty Tank. I sold it for $27.04 shipped and I profited $17.39. Next, I have a John Barbados V-neck men's shirt. It's just a plain basic top. I sold that for $21.22 shipped and profited $12.40. Need some highlight. Yeah. I'm gonna kick you out. No. No. I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've, I've sold Kate Spade. <clears throat> uh, but I found this Kate Spade green wallet. It was a scallop edge and it sold for $47.59 and I profited $36.99. Next, I have a Anthropology Harlan Midsummer Textured Cardigan that sold for $49.77 and I profited $39.94. So I was surprised. I was surprised with that one. Next up, I sold Mustard Seed and Moonshine tea, uh, teacups with one saucer. These were spread out all over the store, which is so annoying. One of them was pretty damaged, but I decided to just buy them all and keep them together. And then the buyer can do with, do what they want with it. <clears throat> this sold for $32.15. My net profit was $19.15. This purchase was a boo-boo. I bought a teddy bear quilt, but I didn't realize it was from Cracker Barrel, or else I don't think I would have bought it. Um, I was inspired by Lavender Clothesline because she buys quilts all the time, so I was looking for quilts, and I was like, oh, this one has bears on it, that's cute, and I didn't check comps. So I sold it for $16.93 shipped, but it was huge because it had like full-size teddy bears on it. Right? Yeah. So a net profit, the net profit was two ninety six. dollars At least I didn't lose money. 
This one, I was super excited when I found it at the bins because it's a real like old, like pinup girl cardigan. It's um, Angelon by Darlene and it's made from rabbit hair and wool. And it was a really pretty pattern with this pink and gold like swirl pattern. Um, that one sold for $38.68. And I, my net profit was $33.76. Next up, I sold a Pottery Barn 12 Days of Christmas serving bowl. It's like partridge in a pear tree. Get it? I sold it for $44.70 shipped and I profited $27.91. Next up, I bought these at a garage sale for 50 cents. It was a Bath and Body Works Twilight Woods body butter and shower cream. I sold them for $17.65 and profited $13.06. We have a BB Dakota Place to Be Knit Ottoman Jacket. I sold it for $29.40 and the net profit was $25.35 and that one was new with tags. It was really cute. This dress I thought was really pretty. I wasn't, um, I wasn't familiar with the designer. It was Isabel Toledo for Lane Bryant. I sold it for $36.23 shipped and the profit was $22.53. I was surprised because I'm selling dresses and I didn't really think that people would be buying a lot of dresses, but they are. Next, we have a Vans um, baseball type tee. It's a, it sold for $20.54 and I profited $13.19. This next top was by Anthropology Maeve and it was a Lily of the, the Valley button up blouse. It has a feather pattern on it, and I sold it for $20.27, and that was a $12.27 profit. Next was a Marilyn Monroe belt buckle that I used to wear in high school. <laughs> so embarrassing. I don't know. I guess there's worse things you could wear. So no cost of goods on that one. I sold it for $26.47. And I profited $21.88. Next, I sold uh, Vans Clear Plastic See-Through Shoes. And these sold for $41.43. And I profited $26.31. This next sale I was excited about. It actually sold twice. Um, I think I had a mistake in the listing. So the person bought the wrong size. They said like, maybe it was their mistake. I don't know, but they said that they selected the wrong size, which I only have one size. So yeah, but it sold for seventy sixty. It's Coral Frame Infinity Liquid Mesh Leggings. And I profited $51.88. These I'm glad I picked up because I almost didn't. They were slippers and they were kind of gross on the inside. So I was kind of going back and forth whether I should pick them. Um, but I took them home and they just sat there for a while until I just decided to soak them. I got some Tupperware. I put some like white OxyClean in there and then filled it up with hot water and left it overnight. And then I scrubbed the inside with kind of a toothbrush thing for um, cleaning your bathroom. They are Birdie's Leopard Print Sherpa Lined Loafers. And they sold for $88.95. And I profited $71.36. So I was surprised at how well those did. Next, I, th I thought I was going to make a little bit more on this one than I did, but... Um, it's a wool skirt by Massimo Duty. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> I think that I did a haul and I couldn't say that. But um, it was new with tags, made in Italy. I sold it for 1940 
and I profited $11.65. The next one was a cropped, like asymmetrical jacket by Nicholas K. It was a black jean jacket. That one sold for $67.56 and I profited $52.55. This one I was so glad to get rid of. It was like from my old eBay inventory from like probably years ago. I don't know if you've seen in my other videos, but I said before that eBay like punished me pretty much for losing an item and then they took down a bunch of listings that I had and so I like lost track of what all I had and so I relisted this on Poshmark and cross-listed it on here it sold for $25.60 and I profited $15.40 I took pictures of it but it didn't have a, it didn't have the tie around the waist. And I realized that I didn't put that in the listing, which I thought I did. So the person messaged me and asked if I could send them the tie, but I don't have it. So I was afraid they were going to return it, but they, they never responded. So I feel bad about that, but it was in the pictures. This one I thought I was going to make a little bit more on. It was a Patagonia blue halter dress. Um, it sold for $25 and I profited $13. Then I have a American Eagle embroidered hoodie. Just the lettering was embroidered. I sold it for $34.32 and I profited $21.35. So I had one sale on Trade Z. It was a Adidas burnout tee for Miami. What was it? Miami Fever, I think. I I don't know what I'm doing with Trade Z. I've lost a bunch of money on on a lot of good stuff because they have a I think a seven dollar selling fee on no matter what you sell it for. And I accidentally clicked the button for it to bring down the price on my listings so a lot of my stuff sold for like really cheap and ooh, that was a mistake so I made 10 14 on that burnout tea and I but I was excited about that because I had that forever okay this brand I've never sold before but I like the chunky knit chunkiness of the knit. Um, it was by P.O.L. and it was an oversized knit sweater. I sold it for $26 and I profited $17.49. I forgot to say I'm on Mercari now. These are my Mercari sales. I think on my app it'll show you your net profit but when you look at your numbers from each um, marketplace it's gross sales instead of net sales so my gross sales for Macari was 284 it won't add up to my total amount of sales next I have I found a new with tags fantastic fawn cardigan it was really cute it was a bubble sleeve that sold for $19 and I profited $11.75 a lot of my Mercari sales were lower. Next up is a L.L. Bean kids coat that I found at the bins. It sold for $19 and I profited $6.26. I don't think that I accounted for the shipping on that. Then we have some Nike joggers. I sold them for $20 and I profited $10.71. Next, I sold a Torrid High low chalice sundress for $28 and I profited $18.20. That one I was kind of hoping I could wear it like at least once, but no. One of the sweatshirts I wore in one of my videos sold the Riot Society sweatshirt with a tiger print on the back. That one sold for $23. <clears throat> 
and I profited $17.50. Then I have a Spiritual Gangster Karma Made Me Do It, a graphic tee that sold for $23, and I profited $16.20. I do not know why Mercari doesn't have your sales in order. It goes from like August to October, like all together. Anyway. I sold these Vans boys shoes uh, for $14, so I profited $3.11. That was not good. I don't think I accounted for shipping on that one either. I had, I know that Macari people expect free shipping on these things, but that's where I've lost a lot of money, so I had to go back in and just put you know, a little bit of shipping on there. October. Where is it? This dress I had for so long, it was part of my old eBay inventory. It's a ASOS bodycon dress with a leopard graphic on the sleeve. And I needed to get rid of it. Um, I sold it for $16 and I profited 340 so I'm glad that's gone every time something sells that I need to get rid of I'm like yes <laughs> okay these I took a risk on I wasn't sure if anyone would want these but they do <laughs> um it's a Dr. Scholl's men's pair of brown Oxfords. I sold them for $30 and I profited $12.17. And then I have a Chico's leopard top. I needed to get rid of this. I've had it forever. I sold it for $16 and I profited $6.40. And I had one sale on Etsy, which I was super excited about. I have a business card holder on my desk. I had it listed for a long time, but I had it at a pretty high price. It finally sold for $132. It's a Maitland Smith card holder. It was a dog holding a ball. It was really cute. And I profited $122.14 on that. And it was about like that big. So that was exciting. <clears throat> Moving on to Poshmark, I had a gross sales of $1,238.93 and the first item recently that sold is a butter dish. It's a vintage butter dish by James Sloss. Uh, it's, I guess it's a French style of butter dish where I, I put a picture on how to use it in the listing, but you put it in the lid and you take it out and then take the butter out. So that one sold for $27 and I profited $17.48. Next up, we have a Fashion Nova Deeper Than the Sea bikini top. Here's another instance where I'm picking up something because it's new with tags and it's, nobody wants to pay for it, pay up for it. So I sold it for $8. And it's always the people that buy something really cheap that leave bad feedback <laughs> because they gave me two stars review because it didn't fit. <laughs> but oh well. So I profited 55 cents. Yay. But you know, it's a learning curve always no matter how long you've been doing this for. Trends are always changing. You, there's no way to know everything. Next up, we have a Dave Matthews band long sleeve pullover. I buy everything Dave Matthews. I think like back in the day, I sold a Dave Matthews shirt for like a hundred bucks. That was like vintage. So I always pick up Dave Matthews stuff. Um, this one sold for $35. And I profited 23 50 
<clears throat> I wasn't sure if I should pick it up because it's like a club kind of dress. Uh, it was Fashion Nova. It was a sequin sequins dress. I sold it for $15 and I profited $7.50. I don't think that I'm going to pick up Fashion Nova anymore. I think I passed on it a few days ago. So the next we have a Pottery Barn West Elm baking apron. I found at the bins. Um, it sold for $15, so I profited $7.50. Next up, we have an Anthropology Monogram Lemon Cardigan. It was a really pretty lemon print on it with, I think it was like polka dot. No, it was like a plaid print underneath, which I thought was cool. And that sold for $28 and I profited $17.90. These I had forever. I don't know why they weren't moving, but finally they sold. It was a Lululemon Astro pant and they sold for $36 and I profited $21.78. Then we have a Kate Spade Cedar Street Clouds wallet. I sold it for $40. And that profited $27.50. This sweater I had in my closet. Um, I wore it once, but it was kind of itchy. Um, <clears throat> it was an Athleta Northern Lights tunic sweater in oatmeal. It had a zipper detail at the bottom. That one sold for $50. And I profited $35.50. This bra was had something weird happen. This woman, she, she bought it and then she said she wanted to cancel the order because she used the wrong credit card. She said she used her aunt's credit card, but then she posted my listing in her closet. So I asked her, please take it down and the order canceled, but then I sold it like a few hours later. It is a Savage, Savage X Fenty black lace bra. I found it at the Benz new with tags. It sold for $14 and I profited $10.05. This one I had for quite a while. It's Wilfred Free turtleneck and that sold for $27 and I profited $14.98. Next I have a Athleta Kayla knit sweater. It was kind of like a, almost like a crochet pattern on the pockets. And that one sold for $30 and I profited $19.50. This one I just took a chance on. I wasn't sure if it would sell or not. It's an Adidas Michigan fleece sweater. Um, that one I sold for $15 and profited $7.50. Then we have a Patagonia Serenity pant legging. Um, you can wear it high-waisted or you can roll it down to um, be around your, your hip area. That one sold for $25 and I profited $17.38. This one was a boo-boo. Um, it was a graphic tee by Junk Food, but it, it had a stain on it, so I sold it for $6, and I lost money on it. it I think I lost about $1.45 on that. This one, I was inspired by Empty Hanger when she was buying her grandpa sweaters, so I wanted to try that. I, I found this embroidered vintage oversized sweater. It was like a geometric pattern and it sold um, for $25 and I made $15.50 on that. Next up is a Rock Republic Glam Rhinestone Booty and I sold them for $21. I had them for a long time so I was trying to get rid of them and I profited $5.19. But her her love note was cute. She was excited. 
so that was cool. Um, I do well with this brand. It's a Matilda Jane skirt. This was new with tags. It's a skater skirt. I sold it for $35 and I profited $24.48. Next we have a Fossil um, Messenger bag. It was black leather. I found it when I went to the bins with Hope. Um, I saw this lady putting back a bunch of purses and I picked them up. And this is one of the first things that sold from that haul. So that sold for 30 bucks and I profited 23. The same trip, I picked up a Wonder Woman costume. It sold for $20 and I profited 15. Then we have a Betsy Johnson pug lunch bag. It was a really cute print, so I picked it up. Um, I sent an offer for this and they accepted. So they got discounted shipping. It sold for $22 and I profited $12.48. Okay, I just had to take a break for some more beverages. And I had to watch some TikTok and see if we had a president, but we don't because it's election week, not election day. Okay, so the next thing I sold is a bundle. I don't get a lot of bundles, so when I do, I get happy. This is two items, a Angel of the North cardigan and a Free People maroon lace-up sweater. They sold for $50, so profit for each item was $15.50. Next we have a Zella Live-In High Waist Crop Leggings, sold for $21 and I profited $12.30. Next is a American Eagle Oversized Striped Knit Sweater, it sold for $15 and I profited $7.50. Then I sold a blanket, it's like one of those that you wrap around yourself and it snaps up. Um, it's a, it's by Beater Lac. It's an orange plaid wrap. And that I sold for $30 and profited um, $23. That one I found at the bins. Another bins find was this vintage equestrian riding helmet. That one sold for $18 and I profited $13.40. I tend to pick up a lot of equestrian stuff. Um, their items are usually expensive, so they do have a good resale value. This is on the lower end. I usually pick up the blazers or the pants. This one I could not wait to get rid of. It's a altered state brown long sleeve oversized top. I sold it for $13. I am not picking up Altered State again. That one sold for 13. It profited 343. I'm just glad it's out of my life. Next up we have a Liberty of London scarf that I found at the bins. I sold it for $40 and I profited 31. That one I found a bunch of vintage scarves and the way that you can tell is they're they're rolled over on the edges instead of like the normal seam. So that was cool. Sold pretty quickly. Next up we have a Van Halen graphic tee sold for $15 and I profited $10. Then we have an Anthropology HD in Paris black ruffle dress, size 14. That one I sold for $36. And that one I had sent an offer, so they got discounted kind of shipping. And I profited $19.68. This was another one that I was getting I was ready to get rid of. Um, it's a hem and thread cardigan. Uh, I sold it for $10 and I profited $2.55. Just glad I thought of my life. And 
when I sold an Old Navy zip, half zip hoodie along with a democracy blouse. It was a orange paisley and it was a bundle. Um, I offered a shipping discount. I sold them for $30 and profited $17.38. And she left a note that says, I love them both. Cool. We have a sweatshirt that has a dinosaur flower design. That one sold for $15 and I profited $7.55. I thought I would get a little bit more for this, but I'm really trying to move things along. So off it went. Then we have a Soft Surroundings West Saxon Duster Cardigan. It's got a little belt detail in the, in the um, front. And I sold that one for $31. I sent an offer, so I profited $21.68 and they had a shipping discount. This one was Anthropology. I'm going to butcher this name. It's Moulinette Serres. Serre? Moulinette Serre. Uh, Shiver and Shine Tank. I sold it for $22 and I profited $13.10. That one just stuck out to me. I was just walking by and I was like, ooh, shiny, and I picked it up. So they were happy with that. They left a nice note for me. Next up is a Banana Republic Silk Cashmere Thin Knit Sweater, new with tags. It sold for $23, um, and I profited $14.20. I don't pick up Banana Republic very often, but anything cashmere, I'll pick up and it was new so there you have it this one I was really glad to get rid of it was a lucky brand thin hoodie uh, men's hoodie I sold for $15 and I profited $7.50 my friend from Detroit Goldie bought this one so thank you Goldie she bought an almost famous um, Kate Hudson graphic tee. She bought it for $20 and I profited $14. This item, I had a case open. It was an authentic Burberry plaid umbrella. I noted in the listing that it had like the sticky, the stickiness on the handle. And I, I obviously wiped it down, but I couldn't get the stickiness off. So. I was like, I want it out. I just I accepted an offer for $20. I listed it kind of low. And it didn't have the top part to the umbrella. So it was like a hole, but it was still sewn together. So they opened a case and said it's sticky. And there's going to get rain in it and blah, blah, blah. But I said, you know, I, I, list, I said that in the listing. And I apologized, um, but the uh, the good thing about Poshmark is that they can rule in both of our favors, which eBay never does that. So that was really nice that they got a um, refund, and I didn't have to lose money. So I sold that for twenty bucks, and. I profited $13. Next we have some Adidas gray shorts with a pink logo on the front. I sold for $15 and I profited $8. Then we have a men's dazed and confused shirt. I sold for $18 and that one sold for 12, I mean that, that one profited $12.40. That, one, that guy left a funny message. He left a note that said, an honest posher, what a novel idea. <laughs> Who hurt you? <laughs> so I'm glad he's happy. Next is a shirt I found at the bins. It's a Lucky Brand uh, graphic that has a barber, like, what's it called? 
It says Rusty Cleaver on it. <laughs> so that one sold for $18 and I profited $11.28. Next is this vintage abalone shell alpaca silver cuff from the 70s. It was from that haul that I filmed. It was an abalone and turquoise collection that she had collected her whole life and he was about to melt it down. So I saved it. It sold for $60, so I profited $28. This is the first item to sell from that collection. Next up is this Wide Calf Naturalizer Comfort Boots. It's um, about mid-calf, and that sold for $80. I profited $59.80. This one, I couldn't get wait. I, I couldn't wait to get rid of this one. It was old inventory. It was a Cynthia Rowley merino wool sweater. I sold it for $18 and profited $7.78. This sweater, I was kind of proud of myself because when I'm at the bins, I think to myself, look for texture and color. So I found this because it was very, it was, you know, a lot of texture and it didn't have a tag, but I, I could feel how nice it felt. So I looked at the RN number and it was Free People. It was the Free People Ivory Cloud Alpaca Slouchy Sweater. That one sold for $70 and I profited $55. So that is everything. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it wasn't too confusing the way that I read everything. I've never, I've never done this before, so hopefully it's not too awkward and hopefully by watching it can get your mind off of current events for a little while. I've been trying to get outside a little bit every day just to take a walk, go on a bike ride, which I got a flat tire today so I might be buying tires on eBay. But I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next week.